Motivational speaker Brock Mueller is known as the walking miracle. He was severely injured in a car accident in 2007 and given little chance to walk again. But he beat those odds and he can walk and he's going to address this convention, the Republican National Convention, Thursday night with his inspirational message. He joins us tonight. Brock, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Tomorrow's your big night. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit more, though, about the basic question. How did you get here? How did you come to be a speaker at the Republican National Convention? My Aunt Sandy actually is one of the Ohio delegates, and she had uh, just put my name out there as a potential person that would be a, a, a good person for a commercial for Senator Portman, who I've met several yep. times from Ohio. And this was several months ago, but two weeks ago I got a call from the same contact asking if I'd be willing to speak at the convention. And of course, a week ago when they released the speakers list, I, I was still uh, very surprised, I guess, to kind of comprehend that I was speaking. Did you know you were going to be on that list? Not, not really. I kind of thought maybe I was on a, a different, you know, longer list of, yeah. of people they were inviting to come share some thoughts that were, you know, American citizens. And, yeah. and so when I saw the list, I thought, wow, this is, uh, you know, thir you know going to be Thursday night. and. Uh, a big deal, or yeah. a bigger deal than I first It's a pretty thought. big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, well, t tell us a little bit more about the story. You, how did you get from a guy who had a 1% chance of walking again to a guy who walked it over here and sat down in the chair next to me? How long did that take? Well, it's been almost uh, nine years now since the accident, um, but I just, I've been blessed with uh, so much opportunity. Yeah. Um, but uh, my brother, who was uh, committed to play football at Michigan, um, I was actually a student at Ohio State when the accident happened and uh, I was given the opportunity to work out with the team and do something that uh, as far as I know that no one's done before yeah. and train at a very high level and I had been in a, a wheelchair for two years and oftentimes um, another statement the doctors make is that after two years you have what you have and uh, and I didn't didn't want to accept that I wanted to uh, not have any regrets about trying to walk again and uh, and have been able to progress since that day and continue yeah. to progress till, to this day well that is an amazing story so bearing that story in mind and I don't want you to give away your speech here but in a nutshell what's the message to a political convention that you can bring really it's the same message I always try to share which is really just hope and uh, a lot of the things that I think as Americans we value, you know, and, and believing we can accomplish uh, and overcome adversity um, and accomplish anything we put our minds to. And, uh, and a lot of my speech goes back to my faith. Uh, I just, um, I don't know, I just thank God for every day I have that I'm on this earth and that how much he's, he's done for me. It, it sounds like the kind of speech you could give at either convention, frankly. I mean. It's not really a political message, it's an inspirational message, and it's, it transcends partisanship. Yes, it, it definitely does, and I, and I have been uh, historically a Republican, and so um, that has helped you know, bring me here, certainly, but uh, and that, the, the big part of my story has been that I graduated from Ohio State, walked out at Michigan and was cheered, and, uh, and you know, it overcame you know, that rivalry, which here is huge, and I think across the nation, people realize well, that. Well, that's too. the real miracle of your story, that you got <laughs> past the Michigan-Ohio State uh, rivalry, so I congratulate you on that. Brock, thank, thank you for you. joining us. Uh, it is an inspirational story. look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Thank you.